Okay, uh, this is interesting. So SIM swappers are hijacking phone numbers in eSIM attacks. So eSIMs are digital cards stored on the chip of the mobile device and serve the same role as normal SIM cards. Um, and the technology has become increasingly popular among smartphone makers because eSIMs eliminate the need for a SIM card slot and can offer cellular connectivity and small wearables. So SIM swappers relied on social engineering or worked with insiders at mobile carrier services to help them port a target's number but companies implemented more protections to thwart these takeovers. So cyber criminals turned their attention to emerging opportunities in new technologies. Now attackers breach a user's mobile account with stolen, brute force, or leaked credentials and initiate porting the victim's number to another device on their own. They can do this by generating a QR code through the hijacked mobile account, then can be used, uh, that can be used to activate a new eSIM. They then scan it with their device, essentially hijacking the number. A bonus for the attackers is that by porting a number to their device, they gain access to SIM-linked accounts in various messenger apps, which opens up more opportunities for scamming other people, like posing as the victim and tricking them into sending money. To defend against eSIM swapping attacks, researchers recommended using complex and unique passwords for the cell service provider account and enabling two-factor authentication if possible. And on that note, I'm going to add my own here, which is try to utilize your uh, phone number that's de like dedicated to your cell plan as little as possible. Um, I find that to be easier to keep things a little bit safer, because um, even if you are SIM swapped, at least like your signal number isn't the same number for your cell plan, for example. Um, so it's a little bit harder to do as much damage with it. Or if you're using it for SMS 2FA or something like that. But if it's a VOIP service, it's a different account. So just kind of mixing up accounts a little bit better. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech news, check out our main channel, Surveillance Report, for all your privacy and security news in a convenient video and audio podcast once a week. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.